So there are a few things that are really important to make your video more cinematic. First of all, it's a smooth shot. So the smoother your shot is, the better it looks. So the first tip guys is to enable the rock steady or the hyper smooth image stabilization on your action camera. So if your action camera does not support the built-in image stabilization, it's fine. You can still use some kind of gimbals to make sure that your videos are smoother. And there is also uh, this little thing that I really like to use. Uh, this is a motorized gimbal, so you can actually attach the action camera to the gimbal. And there is also uh, this kind of adapter with the counterweight uh, on the other side. The camera goes to this side and you just screw it in and you can hook it up to the gimbal and make some really cool shots. Okay, the second tip to use the shutter speed double of your frame rate. So for example, the best, the best frame rate for cinematic shots in order to get this extra motion blur that make the cinematic shot look more interesting and professional the shutter speed up to 60. So if you would like to do some slow motion video and some slow motion shots you need to shoot at least at 60 frames upscale your shutter speed up to 120. The minimum for a uh, slow motion video is 60 frames, but of course you can also go to 120 and even 240 if your camera supports it. Shoot in best quality that is possible on your cam. So for example, if you use the GoPro, you can shoot for up to 5K, so use that. If you do edit on your mobile, so shoot at 1080, at around 30 to 60 frames, that should be really, really good result. Tip number three, guys, is shoot slow. The slower the footage goes, the smoother it is, the battery smoother it is, the better it looks like so on the screen when you edit it. Now, you can always bump the speed up, but, but you cannot slow it down whenever you like. So, first of all, disable the warp image look, turn it off, because sometimes it is really useful to have this kind of fish eye wide angle view on your action camera especially for the uh, sports shots for the cinematic look it's better to turn it off the best way for you to capture the video is with a cine light or d light profile so it will get rid of this extra saturation and contrast that the camera adds onto your video uh, so it makes it more flat and so you can actually add the situation and contrast as you wish in the post editing program. So it's really up to you. Tip number six guys is to use presets and LUTs in the post editing software. So I use Premiere Pro mostly for all my editing and you do have a huge library of free LUTs uh, that you can add to your videos or you can also experiment and try out some new color grades make your shots uh, as artsy as your heart desire number six is for you to use uh, the ND filters but it, this one is more of a recommendation because uh, this is like a little sunglasses uh, for your cam and this will actually add more to this sexy uh, motion blur to your videos and improves the overall dynamic range of the whole shot. So try it out. To use an external audio, uh, so for example you can use an external mic because honestly the action cameras are really good at what they're capable of uh, video wise but as, as it comes to audio you cannot beat the external mic. I do recommend you to use this kind of uh, dongle that goes to your USB-C, does have this kind of uh, microphone exit, so you can hook up any microphone that you like to. So, you can try it out. And fully use the whole battery 
in order to get all these kind of different angles and different shots, you don't have to do anything uh, extreme or over preparated. Just plan few shots that you're going to make. If you like, you can even write them down. It's always better to have more shots than less when you're editing. The shot, the video looks much more interesting and much more dynamic when you shoot it on the sunrise or the sunset. So you can check with your Google uh, at your area what is the best time for you to go out and shoot. The video just looks that much better. Okay, now uh, an additional tip, uh, this is a bonus one, just go out and have fun guys, okay? Try out new stuff, try out some new angles. You can try out the tips that I recommended you in this video or share your own experience in the comments, so feel free about that. I will list all the items that I showed in this video, so if you're interested you can try them out. If you like the video, smash the like button, consider subscribing so you will not miss a new video. And of course, I see you in the next video. So have a great day. See you next time. Peace.